I, a student teacher, secretly corrected my students' spelling test so the class can get a pizza party. I started student teaching in a fourth grade special ed class in September. My teacher told her students that if all 12 of them get 100% on their spelling tests, we can have a pizza party. So far, that has not happened yet. This past Monday, my teacher told them this is Ms. K's last week with us. Let's all work really hard to finally get that pizza party. The kids were really excited. During their free time, they would all study their words. I never saw them work so hard. What makes this situation difficult is the bullying between Gabby and Sam. Sam has severe dyslexia and struggles with spelling. Gabby constantly picks on Sam for it. My teacher and school take this seriously and intervenes. However, Gabby still picks on Sam. After my teacher said let's all work really hard to finally get that pizza party, Gabby shouted back can you make sure that Sam studies since she's really bad at spelling. We address this with Gabby. Even though she is only 9, she pisses me off with her passive-aggressive comments. Sam practiced really hard for the spelling test. I even stayed after school Thursday to help Sam study. On Friday morning right before the test, she was crying because she didn't want to be the only student to fail and ruin the pizza party. I told her that she worked so hard this past week and she is smart. For the spelling test, our teacher will say the spelling word out loud and the students will write it. Eleven of the students have the same words. Sam has a slightly different set of words which are a bit easier. My teacher whispers Sam's words to her. When the teacher does this, Gabby will sometimes snicker. I can't fucking stand this. We addressed this before, but Gabby still doesn't change her behavior. I finally lost it. This past Friday, Gabby snickered again. I went up to Gabby and angrily whispered I will take your test and fail you right now if you don't stop. And you will ruin the pizza party for everyone. Stop it. She started crying in her seat. I didn't care. Maybe it will finally get through to Gabby. Once the kids are done, I walk around and collect all the tests. The kids go to lunch, and my teacher gives me the tests to grade. She leaves for lunch duty. I start grading each test and it's 100% after 100%. I am so proud of my students. I get to Gabby's test and it's 100%. I finish grading and every single test is 100%. I feel so proud and excited for them. But then I realize, I only collected 11 tests. Sam's test is on my teacher's desk. I go through her test and she is spelling all the words correctly. I never felt so proud. But then, it hits me. The very last word which is always a challenge word is spelled wrong. She wrote because as bequests. I am still proud of her because she got 9 out of 10 correct. She never scored that high before. And sight words are very challenging. But all the students will figure out that Sam ruined the pizza party for them. Even if we don't announce who failed, they will figure it out. I could talk to my teacher about letting them have the pizza party anyway but my teacher is a stickler for the rules. Everyone needs to get a 100%. I can't let Sam feel like a failure or get bullied. So, I erase the U in the end and switch them. Sam probably won't notice. And I won't tell Sam or she will feel bad. She will eventually learn how to spell because. I need her to have her moment. The kids came back from recess and were told the good news. They were so excited. Sam was so proud of herself. I come back on Monday for the pizza party.